Sure. Like many other agencies uh, throughout the United States, of course, we're very concerned and want to be prepared for violent uh, critical incidents. A lot of times they're called active shooter incidents. So here in Manitowoc County, I've been working with a team to help coordinate all of the training, countywide training, when it comes to being prepared for violent encounters. And we've been doing this for the uh, last five years. We've done uh, full-scale, large-scale exercises. You might be familiar with those. We had one in Valders a number of years back. And now the, the RTF training or Rescue Task Force training is what we're focusing on this year. So anybody that's interested in criminal justice, we started this program way back in 2004. But primarily it's our school resource officer at the high school that teaches that class. And it uh, gives a chance for people to get familiar with law enforcement, the things that we do and all the, you know, the ins and outs of uh, crime scene investigation and handling accidents and responding to calls and, and all sorts of things. And the other neat thing about it is that uh, we pull from those kids and those students uh, to become officers in the future. Cops of the Cones is a program that was put together by our Crime Prevention Committee. Uh, their title is a Cool City Crime Prevention. Of course, we are the coolest spot in Wisconsin, supposedly. We team up with the public schools and our Parks and Rec Department to participate in their family nights. And we have officers there. We hand out free ice cream. And it gives us a chance to interact with the kids, the families, play games, do all sorts of things, and have a real nice, positive interaction with, with the community. Yeah, another cool program. This was actually created by one of our school resource officers. So it's a way of rewarding kids with, uh, that have good behaviors and gives them a chance to come to the police department and have lunch with the chief and other officers and supervisors. Uh, the first thing they do is, is pick up the kids in the dare car and they drive them to McDonald's, pick up a Happy Meal, bring them over to the police department. They, again, they have lunch with me and the rest of the officers. And they get a chance to play with the lights and siren before they head back to school. All right, good stuff. And thanks to Chief Cole Meyer for sitting down with me. Now, regarding the coronavirus, the department is doing everything necessary to keep their officers safe. That includes limiting contact with one another, having constant communication with local health officials, and eliminating face-to-face -face meetings.